sure Julian's dead. Well, he isn't moving. I hope he's dead. As dead as his ancestors who've hounded me for centuries. Tabby shouldn't say bad things about the defeat. Even though she's right about Julian, he was wicked. <laughs> Putting poison in his own sister's wedding ring? You have to appreciate the big picture, Timmy. You have to see all the pain and suffering that will be visited on all the lovers of harmony. <laughs> Sheridan should really wear black to her wedding today. Because <laughs> once Louise slips that ring on her finger, she'll be one dead bride. <laughs> say it's bad luck for a bride and groom to see each other before the wedding, but oh, Louise is right. That's just a silly superstition. In a few hours, Louise and I will be standing before God, saying our vows, and nothing can possibly bring us bad luck. How could that be so early? We took an early flight. Oh, we didn't want to miss a moment of this day. This wonderful day. Maravilloso. My nephew and my niece in a double wedding. Fantastico. <laughs> Not dressed yet? I still have time. Well, while you're finishing up here, I'm going to Julian's. I want to be there when Ivy sees the tabloid. Ah, can you imagine the explosion when she figures out that her would-be daughter-in-law is the one that revealed that Ethan is not a crane? What if something goes wrong? Nothing will. Gwen, today is the day we get our revenge on Teresa for stealing Ethan away from you. I'm, I'm still worried. Well, you disguised your voice when you called the tabloid, didn't you? Yeah, yeah, with a voice distorted. Well, then no one will be able to figure out that you're the one that called the tabloid. And they certainly will not be able to figure out that you and I are the ones that emailed the tabloid, not Teresa. You emailed the tabloid, Mother, not me. And you called the tabloid. So we are in this together, darling Donna. I know. I just, I'm just so afraid that somebody is going to find out what we did. Ethan would hate me. Would you just calm down? We have covered our tracks. No one will ever be able to trace this back to us. No, Ethan and everyone else will think that Teresa did it. <laughs> and when Ethan sees that tabloid, ah, the wedding. He's doomed. Oh my gosh, this cannot be happening. We can't be locked in here. Oh my gosh, this is going to destroy everything, Jim. Don't worry. We'll find a way to get us out. No, if we're arrested, it's definitely going to be all over the TV news shows, which means Ethan's definitely going to see the headline before tomorrow, before they get married. Well, don't worry, right? We're not busted yet, so just try to calm down. And then Teresa will never get a chance to explain to Ethan and tell him the truth after the wedding like she promised she would. We gotta get out of here. I know I should leave so you can get ready for the wedding, but I just can't seem to get one foot in front of the other. What's that about? Love? I don't think it could be anything else. I you know. In my heart, we're already married. I will love you forever, Ethan. And I will always love you with all my heart. You know, that fortune cookie I got was right on the money. You got your greatest wish, now your next wish will come true. And it will. After I have you for my wife, my next wish is to find out who sold me out to that tabloid. And you'll know very soon. I mean, you said that Chad promised to find out before the wedding. Yes, he guaranteed it. Soon you'll have a name of the person who sent the tablet that letter proving that you weren't a crane. And, and, and I promise 
And whatever Chan finds out, this will not affect the wedding. Because today is the happiest day of our lives. Nothing can separate us now. Honesty means everything to Ethan. And Ethan will never forgive Teresa when he is faced with the fact that she is the one that emailed the tabloid. Oh, and Ivy will just want to rip Teresa to shreds. Yes, she will. You know, you're right, Mother. Ivy's life was destroyed when that tabloid came out revealing that Ethan wasn't a crane, and she'll loathe Teresa. So all we have to do is make sure that Madam Ivy gets a copy of today's tabloid right away. Oh, well, that's simple. I'll just call up the editor and have a messenger send one to Ivy right away. Oh, this is another fine mess I've gotten us into, huh? Chad, you didn't, okay? I followed you here. And I don't have any regrets. I'd do it all over again so Teresa could be happy on our wedding day. Somebody comes in here to answer that. We're going to be finished. Hello? I need to speak with the editor. It's about the crane story. Uh, the staff isn't in yet, so, uh, could you call back later? Thank you. The editor isn't in yet. I should phone later. Well, what's wrong? I don't know. There was something really familiar about the voice on the other end of the phone. Well, who was it? I don't know. They didn't say. It's a really strange voice, though. They said they wanted to talk to the editor about the crane story. Well, how in the world could that be? I mean, who else could know about the crane story before it hits the newsstands? I don't know, but, I mean, Whitney... I don't think there's any way to keep a lid on that story if there's somebody already calling up about it. Looks like Ethan's bound to find out before his wedding, so... Don't you think it's better if you were to hear about it from friends? Just one more kiss, and then I'll leave and let you get ready. How beautiful they are. Papi, and how handsome this Ethan. Mm -hmm. Cafecito? I see. Muchas gracias. Gracias, hermana. cuéntame. Tell me, you know, <sighs> about this Ethan. Ethan, well, Ethan is a gentleman. He's well-educated, simpatico. He and I have always been very close. Y la Sheridan? ¿Qué tal la Sheridan? Oh, Sheridan. She's a true lady. Lo is marrying a crane. Imposible. I know, hermano, but it is true. Ven acá, and his father... Does Luis still think that he has something to do with this? Uh, Sheridan is nothing like the rest of the cranes. She's a wonderful young woman, and I, I love her so much. What? Entonces, we also will love her. And Ethan. <laughs> Bienvenidos a la familia López. Sí, señor. Huh? And they will love you, too. Uh, mira eso, mi linda Teresita. Uh, Qué bella, ¿no? I must see her. Have a special talk with her before the wedding. Well, I don't think she's up yet. ¿Qué, qué? Huh? Yeah. A bride sleeping on her wedding day. <laughs> <Por> Nunca! <Dios. laughs> Teresita! It is I, Tio Francisco. Oh, no, my uncle's already here. Oh, great. I'm looking forward to meeting your relatives. Oh, no, no, no. Not now. Tio Francisco can't find you here. He, he's from the old country. He's really strict. He saw you in my bedroom. Please get out the window, please. Yeah. 
Teresita, are you in there? Timmy's getting the creeps. Let's get out of here, princess, before somebody sees Julian and blames Timmy and Tabby. Mm, quite right, Timmy. The last thing we want is to be found here. But first, I have to go back down to Hecuba's lair and consult the face in the pool. Do Timmy and Tabby have to? Our whole future is at stake, dollface. Uh... Oh, stop moaning, Timmy. That wasn't Timmy. Another crane bites the dust. Those swine have hounded me for over 300 years. I was counting on the pain and suffering the horoscopes predicted to start with Julian Crane's death. Oh, well, such is life. Come on, we better get out of here before he comes to completely. Again, he is not alive. Wrong, Rebecca. I caught him in the library. I tied him to a chair. He got loose. I chased him all over the house. The little imp will still be here. Julian, did you have more to drink than usual last night? I had my normal amount, to which I'm completely entitled. Especially since I'm planning to murder my own sister with a poison wedding ring. Oh. oh, is that how you and Alistair are going to get rid of Sheridan? Oh, my, how utterly diabolical. Yes, and lethal. You didn't do anything to my ring, did you? No. But if the, if the chance that Tabitha's doll got to it. Oh, Julian, would you stop with this talking doll nonsense? If you keep it up, Alistair is never going to name you as heir of the Crane Empire, and Ivy is going to use it against you in your divorce. Julian, do you hear me? You can never mention the talking doll again. Pookie, you've just had too much on your plate with, with all this worry about having to kill your sister, Sheridan. She is my maid of honor, yeah. just in time. Well, I've got a whole regiment on their way. Manicurist, hairstylist, makeup artist. I'm so glad that we agreed to get ready together. You know, it'll give us a couple of minutes to be by ourselves and talk. Talk? Yeah, there's something that's bothering me about the wedding. and I think you might be able to put my mind at ease. Of course, I'll do anything you need me to do. You know that. What's the problem? It's Teresa. I want you to give me an honest answer. Mama! Mama! Luis! Yeah, Christian. Mi niño, mm. como tu estás? Como estás? Como estás? Bien, gracias. As if I didn't know how things are going over here. Yeah, well, uh -huh. we'll see you when you meet Sheridan later. But look at you, look at you. You're more gorgeous than ever. Que mentiroso eres. Now, nah, me lie to oh. you? Come on. But I love it when you lie to me. I want you to tell me something. How did that girl ever get your heart? I bet you there were a billion other girls knocking at your door, uh, huh? I wouldn't say that. Huh? Please, you're such a handsome sobrino, the handsomest of all my sobrinos. Well, wait till you meet Sheridan. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. Well, for you to marry a crane... Yeah, me? Well, where were you? I was beginning to get concerned. Uh, some guy broke into Tabitha's house, frightened oh Grace, God. and I've uh, been down at the station. Grace is all right, isn't she? Yeah, she's fine. She's with Sam. So where's Theo Francisco? Mm. Huh? 
¿Dónde vas, preciosa y linda Teresa? ¡Ah! ¡Tío Francisco! ¿Qué ha pasado, mi chiquita? ¡Hola! ¡Eso es lo que se convirtió en una mujer! Hey, is this man you've chosen for your husband, Ethan, who used to be a crane, is good enough for you, Teresa? Oh, he is the best, Tio. El mejor hombre en todo el mundo. <laughs> well, you'll have a long time together. Eh? A happy marriage. Oh, como tú y tía Cristina. Uh-huh. Eh. Do you know what our secret is, Teresita? Mm. Nunca. Never in all the years we're married, never have we gone to bed angry with each other. Hmm? You finish your fighting, and then get into bed, huh? Do not bring bad feelings to bed. Oh, no, Tio. I, I mean, see, si, see, si, Tio. I yeah, am... no, I see. I embarrass you with talk of the marriage bed, eh? <laughs> uh, your mama told me you made a promise to yourself not to make love with a man until your wedding day. Oh, huh? I kept my promise, Tio. ¿Qué es eso? I heard you, Julian. What? I heard you whining and yelping in the hallways earlier. I thought you were chasing one of your little sluts. <laughs> Trying to do one of your sick sex games. And look what I found you with. The biggest slut of all. Surprise, surprise. Uh, this bitterness makes you even less attractive than usual, Ivy, dear. <laughs> I don't care what you do, Julian, or how you do it. What I do demand is that you not interfere with my life as long as I am in this house. You demand? It's bad enough that Rebecca's idiot decorators have tried to remove my doorknobs, but now you have turned off the phone? How dare you? Well, that's hardly daring, dear. That's what happens in a divorce. If you want a telephone, pay for it yourself. I'm not obliged to support you. Well, perhaps you'd be more comfortable if you moved out now. It, painters can be so messy. Oh, I am warning you, Julian. Fix my doorknobs and turn my phone back on now. Or what? What will happen? Something you won't like. Not one little bit. Wow, such exquisite pieces. <laughs> None of them compare with this. I'm gonna wear this ring night and day for the rest of my life, and I'm never taking it off. Um, you said earlier that you wanted to talk about Teresa. Oh, yes. I was thinking about wearing a family heirloom today, but, you know, I... I didn't want to outshine Teresa. <sighs> what do you think? I mean, do you think she would feel upstaged if I were to wear this? Oh, what a beautiful necklace. Mm, it's my mother's. Her father gave it to her the day she married Alistair. Well, it obviously means a lot to you. It does. Well, then you have to wear it. But Teresa... Oh, she won't have a problem with it. How could she? You don't think she'd be upset with me? No. Teresa's a romantic at heart. She she won't be upset. You know, I, I don't know how you do it. Uh, do what? How you can sit there so calmly. I know what you're doing today. The noise. It came from here, right? Oh, oh you, something must have fallen over in there, that's all. I mean, I put a million boxes in there for the wedding, and if you open up the door, they'll just come tumbling out. Tumbling? This word I do not know. Oh! Come on, yeah. it. Oh, it's a mess. I, I told you, um, I will ask Miguel to help me later. Oh, pobrecito, he will have a lot of work to do, huh? Well, we will handle it. Okay, I, I'll leave you to get ready then, eh? Oh. It's so good to see you, Tio. Oh, mi niña. <laughs> mm. I look forward to meeting this lucky man, Itana. Tell Tia Cristina I will come say hello in a minute. All right. All right. Mm. Ethan? Is this 
belong to you. Never mind. No, I do mind. I can't wait to see you in it. Yes, you can wait, and you will though. Come on, I gotta get you out of here before somebody else comes in. Okay. I'm away. Okay. Jimmy hates mowing floors. All he gets to do is sit in the corner like a dummy. It's no fun. We're not looking for fun, remember? What we're after is pain and suffering. Which is why we have to be here to see what happens when Teresa's secret is exposed. How does Tabby know what's going to happen today? Because I saw it all in the pool down in Hecuba's lair. While you were upstairs knocking back Martimmy's with Julian. See what Mr. Editor was so determined to hide. What? What is it? It's a galley proof of tomorrow's paper. Well, what does it say? Surprise revelation. Former Ethan Crane, done in by his fiance. Let me see. And gets a load of that headline, the pain and suffering will be monumental. Well, I think the biggest favor we can do both Ethan and Teresa is just to break the news to Ethan quietly and privately before somebody shows him this. You know, I'm starting to get the feeling that Ethan and Teresa are never going to get married. Well, Teresa's got a lot of heavy duty explaining to do. I mean, that's her email address on the tabloid's letter. You know, I know it doesn't look good for Teresa, but there's no way I'll ever believe that Teresa's the one who sent the tabloid the story, Chad. Well, I mean, she is crazy about Ethan. Okay, and a girl that much in love, I think she's capable of just about anything. And there was a time when she thought she was going to lose him. No, no, no. She was confused by Gwen's lies. At the time, she thought Ethan didn't love her. But I know that Teresa loves Ethan. She would never do anything to hurt him, Chad. But then why would you have a copy of Mrs. Crane's letter in her computer in the first place? I mean, what was she going to do with it? Look, I don't know, okay? Well, I'm not saying that Teresa was trying to hurt Ethan, but... Like I said before, when people are in love, they do crazy things. You're proof of that. I mean, you're about to throw away everything we got just because you made some promise to your sister because she got hurt. <laughs> that ain't crazy. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> the coast is clear. Okay, one more kiss before you go. The last time you said that, I almost got in trouble by your Uncle Francisco. I know, I should have made you go. Mm, but you didn't. Mm, because I hate to be apart from you for even a few hours. Mm. Hey, stay here until Whitney comes over. She should be here any minute. She made me an offer I can't refuse. Forrester. Yeah, yeah, sorry, honey. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I'll pick something up on the way home. All right, bye, honey. Is there a problem, Forrester? Uh, no, sir, routine security check, that's all. Oh, good. Come on in. I want to show you something. Today's edition is going to blow the lid off this town. <laughs> this is going to cause a firestorm. Unfortunately, the computer knocked the presses out for a while, so the paper won't hit the newsstands until tonight. Here's the deal. Take it or leave it. If you do even the slightest thing to make my life more difficult here, I will fight this divorce tooth and nail. It will take years to become final. You and Bex here may never get married. You think you can intimidate us with your empty threats? You cannot stop the divorce, Irene. 
Don't underestimate me, Becky. That would be very stupid. All right, all right. I'll see to it that the phones are turned back on. It may take a day or so. <clears throat> and the doorknobs. They'll be fixed. Today. And Rebecca's decorators are to be kept out of my room. Yes, yes. You can be so reasonable when forced. Enjoy your little game now, Ivy, because very soon you will be moving into the Roach Motel. By the way, I've given all of the servants the day off to go to the wedding. What? That includes the cook. So if you two want breakfast, fix it for yourself. Business. Bitch. Well, we cannot give her any ammunition that she can use to try to stop the divorce. No, and you can never, ever mention that talking dog again, Julian. Wait, Debbie. Do you mean Debbie can't go in empty-handed? <laughs> when you're right, you're right, Tim Tim. Well, why don't you pick a few flowers? Enough for a small bouquet. Okay, the recita will be out soon to say hello. But while we wait, Ami, I have a special gift for Luis on the occasion of his wedding. Be happy, Sobrino. What you got? Look at watch. It was your grandfather's. He gave it to Francisco. You're the first of his grandsons to get married. So I want you to have it. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Felicidades, me. Felicidades. Felicidades. May I see the watch, please? Yeah. <laughs> oh, my, I wish your grandfather was here to see you get married. <laughs> he looks down on us and has joined his heart. <laughs> get it? Buenos dias, senora. Dear yourself, we've come to see Teresa. Ven acá, Pilar. ¿Y esta mujer? ¿Quién es? Una loca del barrio. Oh. Uh -huh. We've brought some pretty flowers for sweet Teresa. Oh, <laughs> thank you, Tabitha. <laughs> My, they are so fresh. <laughs> But it's funny, uh, you know, uh, they look just like the ones we planted last week. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, there's nothing like a nice little posy to brighten up the place. <laughs> Not that your place needs brightening. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, the, that doll, it, it just smiled at me. Ivy, Hi. welcome. I wanted to see Teresa before the ceremony. Oh, please, come in. I think she's still in her room, but she should be out soon. Tabitha? No. Oh, good morning, dear. We've come to see the bride, too. Oh. Uh, I could swear that doll smiled at me. <laughs> I'm afraid you've got a touch of jet lag, Senor Lopez. <laughs> Ivy, I'd like you to meet my brother, Francisco, and his wife, Cristina. Oh, mucho gusto. Hello. A pleasure. Oh, now I know where the groom got his good looks from. Oh. <laughs> Forgive me, Mrs. Crane. I've just read so much about you in all the magazines, and your life is just so fantastic. Well, there are other words for it. Well, you know how you love Sam Bennett, and then your father forced you to marry uh, Julian Crane? Cristina, is all this Is all this true? It's all right, Pilar, really. Yes, it's all true. Are you still hoping to be with the father of your son? No. That part of my life is over. 
Anyway, we're here to celebrate the future. And the future belongs to Sheridan and Luis and Teresa and my son. My son is so lucky to have Teresa. She was so supportive when he found out he wasn't a crane. It must have been so difficult for you to have your secret made public. Yes, it was. And I will never forgive the horrible person who sent that email to the tabloid. Julia, we have too much at stake here for you to be ranting and raving like this. I mean, if Ivy hears you, she's going to have you committed and we will never get married. You have to think about the future here. In a few short hours, Louise is going to put that poisoned ring on Sheridan's finger, and she is going to die instantly. You've got to remind me. You know what I'm doing today? And I really admire you. I, I think you were so brave. I mean, you thought that Teresa had stolen Ethan away from you, and here you are getting ready to see them get married. I mean, how did you manage to put your anger aside? I'll always love Ethan, and I just, I just want him to be happy. He will be. And so will you. You know, someday you'll meet a man that you're meant to be with forever. Same way I have. I'm gonna go make us a fresh pot of coffee. Okay. You're the only man I'm meant to be with, Ethan. Tabloid office must be open now. We're going to have to show proof of who emailed us that letter. I better make sure that it's still locked up in my desk. Yes? Is this the editor? What's to would you mind? Who is it? This is the person who tipped you off about Teresa Lopez Fitzgerald being the one who sent you that letter. You again. I told you already. The story will be on today's front page, as promised. Who is he talking to? I wish you'd tell me who you are. No, that's impossible, but I do need a favor. Can you messenger a copy to Ivy Crane first thing? Couldn't stay away from Sheridan today either, but I don't think that it's bad luck for the groom to see the bride on the wedding day. <laughs> However, if the groom was caught sneaking out of her window, well, uh, that's definitely bad luck. Yeah. <laughs> Tia Cristina is waiting out there to see you. Yes, please. I, I, I better go. As is Ethan's mother and, uh, Tabitha and her doll and, well, uh, Tio Francisco thought he saw the doll smile at him. <laughs> Tio Francisco is always making jokes. Yeah. Right. Let's see at the church. Yeah. Bye. 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 <laughs> hey, 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 hold on. Come on. I'll take you out the back. Mi muñequita. Oh, I'm so glad that you're here. Honey, I wouldn't have missed your wedding for the world. I know that you had some problems, but let me tell you, there is nothing that can obstruct that wedding now. No. Is there? No, no, huh? nothing. Tiki tika. <laughs> oh. oh, Mrs. Crane. Thank you so much for being here, too. Oh, oh, thank you, Teresa, for making my son so happy. You know, you're just, you're like a daughter to me now. <laughs> Just wait till Ivy sees that tabloid headline. She'll want to kill Teresa. Uh, Tabitha, did, did you say something? Oh, just that we're both so happy for you, dear. Oh. Teresa, where's Whitney? She should be here any minute. I mean, the hairdresser's coming soon. Oh, well, yeah, she should be here soon. I mean, she would never disappoint me on my wedding day. 
Oh, that's one wicked idea I've already had on my own. I sent her a copy right away. Excellent. Wow, well, that makes my day. Who were you talking to? The guys at the papers gonna hit the newsstands tonight. Which means that Trace and Ethan have time to get married, depending on whether or not you decide to talk to Ethan about this. Come on, come on. If you show Ethan this, he's going to call off the wedding. You can't do that to her, Chad. Please, Dad. You're gonna break her heart. Whitney, we don't have time to discuss this right now, okay? We gotta get out of here. cup of herbal tea. It'll calm both our nerves. We have a big day ahead of us and we have to be in total control when we stand there in the back of the church and watch Luis put that ring on Sheridan's finger, right? I'm gonna need more than herbal tea to get through this day. When the bloody doll were alive, I'd purloin the ingredients to his martinis. An envelope for Mrs. Julian Crane. Oh, uh, I'll sign. Thank you. Sees this. Oh, 